<laughs> I do that a lot in the show. If I'm trying to get people to clap their hands, I'm like... just always been infatuated with the pedal steel as an instrument. It's such a beautiful sound to me in the way that you combine slide with like static notes where they're not being changed by the, the pedals themselves bending the strings, but also strings that are doing that. And I've always loved that sound. So I saw this guy, Scotty Murray, um, playing with Jesse Balin. It's like 2009, 2010 and he had this kind of apparatus on a Gibson SG electric guitar and the guitar is tuned to open E so it's a chord when you strike all the strings E B E G sharp B E for any students of the strings and um, the palm pedals back here on this Bigsby tailpiece uh, serve the purpose of bending a couple of the strings it's not like nearly as um, robust as a pedal steel and a whole lot less to learn, but you can kind of get some of the same sounds. The, you know, I, I didn't have to move my left hand at all and I just changed the tone of two strings and it goes from an A chord to a D chord when you do that. Don't get me wrong, like, you get us out there in front of a festival crowd, and we'll be like, oh, we kind of played a little fast, but it's like, if we listen back now, and we felt like it was fast, it's comical, like, how fast some of it is. But I know what you mean. I had a very fun off day in Santa Cruz one time. I, like, it rarely lines up that, like, something cool is happening, like a cool show or something, but it was the first time I ever got to see Sleep uh, was at Coconut Grove. Okay. It was so fun. That's awesome. What yeah. Is that? That was probably 10 years ago. Yeah. world as a sideman player before I joined this band and I was um, employing this on electric guitar which I still do I still play a lot of electric with this setup but Old Crow has a you know a rich DNA full of old-time music and uh, none of that is really electric driven and so I kind of had to figure out a way to make myself valuable to the sound when I joined the band, I had always kind of had this idea in the back of my head uh, to take a round neck dobro like this, learn how to play with pigs. Mm -hmm and combine it with what I've been doing on electric, and this is what I've ended up with. Um, so yeah, I'm playing this a lot with Old Crow. We've got a record coming out um, here in a couple months, and I think August or September of this year, which is 2023, and um, this guitar and this sound are pretty prominent on there.
<clears throat> we may have trouble with copyright for that one. I mean, like, how much of a lick are you looking for? Like, literally just, like, the period on the end of the sentence? Yeah. What do you think? You want to hear some dobro? What do you want to hear? <laughs> 